Hello interwebs, Anthony here at Empire Music. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit of bass today and uh, we'll talk about scale length. Might be some confusion on your part, there might not, you might have this stuff all under wraps, but uh, what's the difference between short scale, long scale, medium scale, extra long scale? Uh, who can they benefit? What are the sonic applications to it? Why is it cool to have them all, to have one? Uh, just kind of a brief discussion about this stuff. When we talk about scale length, what we talk about there is the length from the nut to the bridge. In this case, this is a short scale bass. This is a Fender American Performer Mustang. Uh, and this is anything that's going to be short scale is going to be 31 inches and under that length that I just spoke about. This, in this particular case, it's 30 inches. Um, then at 32 inches, that would be considered medium scale. I don't have an example here to show you. Um, and then most everyone knows the, what they call long scale, or standard scale, I like to say, but it's long scale. Uh, nut to bridge, 34 inches. And then we'd get into five string basses um, that would get you at 35 scale. And there may be some exceptions. I know some of the fan fret model stuff might even go beyond that. And what scale length does is, you know, it, it does, it changes the sound a little bit, it changes the feel of it. And we'll kind of get into all of that a little bit briefly. But, you know, who benefits from what? So let's talk about the short scale stuff. You know, since this is kind of the standard short scale bass, 30 inches, as I said, who does that benefit? Well, it can benefit anybody depending on what your need is. Um, entry level players, great. Why? Because everything's condensed. Generally, they're on smaller bodies. Uh, the length between each fret is a little bit shorter going up the neck. Um, so, entry level players, guitar players converting over to bass. People of, might be smaller stature, smaller hands. This is going to be very, very easy to play from a perspective of getting out this way and, you know, the span that you can get. Um, what does it do sonically though? So as we talk about a short scale bass or anything that's underneath of a 34, uh, the, the shorter the scale length, the snappier the strings, the softer the strings are going to feel. So as I would play, um, the strings will feel a little looser to me, a little softer, a little easier on my hand, um, but also when playing fast things, I actually prefer a longer scale bass personally because my fingers tend to glide off that string that has a little more tension to it rather than get absorbed. And as you can see how easy this, you know, obviously I'm not really playing, but there, it's very soft feeling. So playing fast fleeter lines on a short scale bass um, can, can be actually a little bit trickier to me. However, it's kind of made up for, I guess, with the, uh, you know, the, the space in between um, frets. Sonically, it can be a little bit punchier. In one of my previous videos, I spoke about the series of harmonics and not to get too deep into to the nerdism that is in there, but um, you generally have some of those upper harmonics a little bit less prevalent on a short scale bass. So the lower fundamentals can sometimes be a little bit more present. Um, they've long time been kind of a secret in the studio because you get a big, warm, blooming kind of low end out of a short scale bass. Um, due to uh, the lower tension on the strings. You have a little bit more of that harmonic content on a long scale bass or a 34 scale bass. Um, you may or may not experience some of that um, or notice some of that while you're playing it. So very punchy, very snappy, um, and, a, and a little softer feel on the bass. Now why is that applicable to, say you've been playing bass for a long time, um, why, if you don't own a short scale bass, what's the reason to have one? Well, as I always speak of in a lot of my videos, expanding your kind of sonic palette that you have available to you. You might hit a tune that where the 34 scale sounds great, that, that kind of vaster harmonic content and, and more sort of typical tone out of that might fit, but there might be another instance where the punchiness and the mid-range kind of snap that you get out of a um, short scale bass fits well too. So I think it's worth exploring for, for any bass player, regardless of how long they've been playing. The things you have to think about are 
you know, if you're an entry level player or someone converting to base, what's more comfortable to me? Um, if I'm an experienced and seasoned base player, can I add something different to the tonal palette that I have available to my collection? All those questions I really can't answer for you. Um, I know I own both, I enjoy playing both. There's different scenarios where one or the other fits. So if you have further questions on this, please give me a call at the shop, 412-343-5299. Um, you can check our inventory out of long, short, sometimes medium scale bases online at empiremusiconline.com. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Thanks.